what's up guys welcome to another episode of recreating so today we have another custom review stay tuned all right guys so this is future toy from the teenage mutant ninja turtles comic book uh this is the guy that um this is what it's supposed to originally look like and so yeah that's where i got my reference from uh this is for a client uh he wanted me to do a future toy uh th that looks like the one in the comic book so that's what i did um so yeah i try to get it as close as possible to the comic book um as far as articulation goes oh let me show you the back he also requested that i put uh his daughter's name right here and then uh I don't I don't know what that means, but that's that's what he told me to put. So um, that's what I put on his back. So yeah. So anyways, um, as far as articulation goes, he's pretty well articulated. Uh, the shoulder pads uh, gave me a hard time uh, because uh, either I got them stuck to the the actual shoulder of the the chest piece or to the arms. It made more sense to me on the arms because that way he has more range of movement. Uh, it, it does have a rotation here in the bicep. It does uh, bend that much. Uh, it is kind of hindered a little bit just because of the thickness of this. Uh, the original figure that I used, uh, it had super thin arms, so I couldn't uh, get that much articulation in there if I was to do it the way I did it. Um, all this is sculpted. Every single bit of it is completely sculpted. So this guy took a very, very long time to do because, um, like I said, the figure that I used was completely skinny. Uh, being that it was skinny, uh, it it uh it didn't have anything like. In order for you to put uh, to use epoxy, uh, you need a base. Um, in order to put another layer on it, you have to be putting layer over layer over layer. And then once you get to the layer that you want, uh, because the reason is because uh, for some reason, epoxy is super heavy. It's not the same thing as just like regular clay. Um, it'll bend, it'll it'll fold within itself, in, into itself. Uh, it'll just smash down over time because of the weight of, of the weight of it i guess and so um you can't just put a whole big old blob of it um because it'll it'll cave in so uh i had to do a layer then a second layer then i had to do another layer like say for example the chest piece i had to do like three layers and then do the outer layer which is this part right here of the of the figure and then do another layer which is this part of the figure this t part of the figure then I do another layer for the button here or the little um little thing that he has there i don't know i'm not 100 percent what it is uh, i never really read the comic book so uh, i'm not 100 percent sure what it exactly what it is i guess it's lifeline or his life uh source or i don't know what it is but anyways uh, so yeah, that's why this figure took forever. All these little things I had to do layer after layer after layer, wait until it dry, put another layer, wait until it dry, put another layer, especially his head to sculpt his head took forever. To sculpt the feet or the legs or the, sh the shins, I should say, took forever as well because it's so thick. I had to do layer, 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 and then finally sculpt it out. Uh, so yeah, it just took, a, it took, uh, way too long if you ask me, but, um, Anyways, yeah, the, the, I'm sure the client was, <laughs> was like, man, where the heck is my figure at? Nah, uh, Q's cool, so uh, I'm sure he was cool with it, but uh, he understood why um, it took so long because I was I was explaining to him why, the reason why it took so long. Anyways, as far as articulation, he could bend down that much. He could bend back that much. He could rotate all the way around. Uh, he could look down that much, look up that much, look to the left to the right that much um the arms like i said it goes all the way up uh it goes all the way back rotation there i think i already showed you that uh, bend there it could rotate his whole hand move a little a little a little swivel there a little little swivel not too bad uh kicks up that high it wants all the way up there uh bends like that much the knees a little swivel at the feet not too much because 
uh like i said this is all sculpted in uh so the original figure wouldn't allow me to move too much but i mean it, it's okay it's a decent amount uh it doesn't kick out it doesn't do the splits at all because uh the way it's it's made the figure's made uh same thing here it goes all the way up uh turns here and bends that much and then rotation at the at the hand there and so yeah that's uh, i mean it's a pretty good articulation it's just that it, it's 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 kind of hard to balance just for the simple fact that uh it's a super skinny figure like it's hard when it has skinny little joints and um, you see it here in the torso is super skinny and, and it's super top heavy uh like i said epoxy clay is super heavy so uh this top part is really heavy but i mean he stands pretty well it's not too bad um so yeah, I hope the client really like. Well, I sent it, I sent him a picture already. And he said he likes it. So, um, so yeah, there you go. Huge toy from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think it came out pretty freaking awesome. I really like how this little thing in the middle looks. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but anyways, there he is. Future toy from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, comic book series. So, um, yeah. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you like this little episode, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Because if you guys do, guess what? Thanks for seeing me on the next one. Peace.